Hi! So, we are presenting a workshop, a costuming extravaganza, and this is Randala, and I'm Halima. So, why do you think everyone should take our workshop? Well, I, I kind of calculated, I think between the two of us, we have about 80 years of costume design. <laughs> I mean, to be I'm not that old, I swear. No. <laughs> Neither is she. <laughs> I, started, I, mean, I started costuming puppets when I was six. And yeah, it's okay. been going on since then, and yeah. uh, they had a nice, beautiful stint for 17 years of the 35 years. I think the Anand Folklore Troupe's been dancing. I was right. a core dancer, mm -hmm. and I did all the costumes with with uh, Denise's help about what it should look like. Mm -hmm. So you've done a lot of research into folklore costumes, traditional Egyptian cabaret-style costumes as well, um, and yeah. frugal costume. Frugal, well, yeah, I call them stained glass, patchwork, point that, uh, point that pick, I don't know the okay. French name, and, uh, <laughs> and transformer costumes. I really like costumes that change during the dance. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I've been running my own sewing business for ever, it seems, since I was, I've been sewing for other people since I was about 12 unofficially and about 17 officially. And uh, so between the two of us, we both have a lot of really great information that we want to present that day. Uh, the workshop's on April 4th. It's uh, here in Old Ottawa South. And um, we're going to have lots of examples, lots of information, all kinds of um, stuff to show you and things to play with. Um, very hands-on in the sense of information overload. Um, and it may even lead up to some potential future workshops with actual um, hands-on technique teaching. But for this one, we're looking at giving you lots of information on um, what goes into costumes. And you were saying earlier, even if people don't sew. Oh yeah, if you don't, even if you don't sew, mm -hmm. come. I mean, I've got three of my costumes that I dance as a soloist with the troupe, and they're like, you know, Bedouin jewelry. Oh, and beautiful. Like really fabulous. Yeah. But they're made out of things that are really accessible mm -hmm. to us, but they look great. And, um, and and even if people don't sew, it's like when you go to buy a costume, you know much more mm -hmm. about what goes into it. And you, you can see that, you know, your money in the form of energy to buy, your energy in the form of money <laughs> to buy that costume is really well worth it. And I have all sorts of ideas about how to put costumes on the wall for wall art too. I mean, oh, or you wow. wear them for parties mm -hmm. and Halloween. I'm a great, and class, I'm a great believer in wearing costumes. In fact, my mother never thought I had any clothes. She thought <laughs> all costumes, which is kind of true. So <laughs> if you think you might be interested in learning more about uh, belly dance costuming, then please sign up for our workshop. If you make a comment in the comment section below, we'll even give you the discount that uh, is all on my website. So check it out. The link is there. Thanks. Thanks.